Hi Capricorn, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your November reading for 2020. And I'm also pulling an oracle card for everyone from the Enchanted Map this month. So let's see what we have. Jumping right in, because that's what I like to do. Okay, news coming to you about money. Maybe there was a contract you were waiting to finalize, a settlement you had to finalize, money coming to you some way that's been on hold. This is the news you're waiting to hear, that you uh, will be ready to go to closing. Or you can buy that new car or boat, or you're selling it. This is big ticket items in your life. Okay, but this is definitely news about financial things. Maybe you had some money problems with taxes or because of COVID, everything is gonna be resolved with this now. You could be put at ease. This is starting fresh and new again, whether even if you had to file bankruptcy or you were in forbearance, this is getting a hold on your finances and things stabilizing right now. So if it quickly looked like it was on the decline, this is something that's coming in to bring it to balance. Your status quo right now, nothing is gonna go forward in a, a negative way, but this is just the, the reprieve you've been looking for, like the Calvary came in. If you've been having a lot of stress, I feel like you're gonna be feeling grounded again, Capricorn, and you need that as an earth sign. Uh, you were shaken a bit, maybe a little worried, maybe some of you feeling more anxiety, sleepless nights. This page, when it comes in, is bringing stability here for your energy in your body and healing in your body. Now, it could also have something to do with a child who is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And that's uh, from infant to 18 that you've been uh, having some struggles with or worrying about. I really feel like, um, again, the news is coming in to help them, whether it's with their health or their studies. And you can put your mind at ease knowing all the things you've been wanting, you know, that you're putting out to the universe, you've made your connection with, and there will be some healing going on there. King of Wands, so we have our Aries, Leo, or Sag man or woman, and to me, they're older than 35. Uh, they could be a father or father figure, someone, um, even if it's a woman, okay? It could be like a mother, mother figure or a single mom, but the, the, if it's a woman, she does have the energies of the sacred masculine. She's very uh, uh, dominant in things. She's fearless. She's protective, Okay. But that being said, this king represents someone who multitasks. They love the outdoors, especially the warmer weather. They're very creative and dynamic. They can be bold and aggressive and even a little bit tough and bullying on the lower vibration, but generally they, um, they have had a, a life well lived. They've been through it and they've come through it through their own um, powers of creation. Because the kings are always the mental realm, but this king, which is air, this is fire. So air feeds fire. He comes up with great ideas. He keeps the home fire burning. He's always got an eye on um, everything. Like maybe his hands are in many pieces of the pie uh, or she. So they have a lot of things going and they're very productive, even if they're the ones who are in charge and having other people doing the work for them. So whatever's been going on here, if it was about a child, your finances, your home, you know, all the things we talked about, this person is involved in the situation or entering the situation to help you the way he's looking over there or she uh, and helping to heal this and bring it forth. They've got all the ideas to make things happen. They're very creative. See all this orange? So that is about creativity. Um, and even for some of you, if you're trying to conceive and your body's not doing it, this could be a doctor who's helping you with fertility situations. That just came out. So they're helping you with that. That being said, if there's no one in your life like this, this could be the energy you need to take on. Now, Sag is very close to Cap, right? So some of you could even be a cusp baby, a Cap with a cusp of Sag. So this could be the energy for you too that's part of who you are, or even on your ascendant, where you have a fire sign, um, that you have the ideas that you need to put into place with this situation, and you're stepping on it, you're going forward. You've detached yourself from whatever heavy burdens of the earth held you down. You're aloft in your ideas and your inspiration. Nothing can stop you now. You've got the fire, you brought the fire, and you're gonna help with this situation with all the ideas you have to make the changes that you need, whether it's with healing uh, a child, your own health, 
your finances, your love life. You know, as I read, Spirit's giving you the message for everyone. You don't need to have one-on-one -on -one specifically in a general reading. Just know every card is meant for you. If you just would be open and objective to the message Spirit's giving you as to the snapshot that's going on in your life. Now, this is more like your energy with the Knight of Pentacles because this would be up to 35, 40, depending on the maturity. Uh, tried and true, responsible, maybe a little dull, you would think boring, but this person's here for the long haul. And they're, they're like on the Clydesdale of horses. Look, they're on to the hilt, all right? And they're ready, always ready. And this knight loves to learn. They're like a sponge absorbing information. They're very helpful. This person could be in like the medical field or even in agriculture and botany because it's the earth. Look how lush it is. They could also be... Um, a beautician, a cosmetologist, you know, because they do things of service to help beautify the physical world and the physical body. That being said, I feel like things that have been stagnant, because this knight doesn't like to move very quickly, slow and steady wins the race. There's this little rabbit sitting here. I really feel like things might start hopping along, like you're going to get a uh, pep in your step, you know, you're, you're, where before maybe your get up and go got up and went, you're going to get a giddy app and you get along. All right, say that three times. And I feel like the heaviness that's been going on in your body will be passing. Now, that being said, Saturn, which rules Capricorn, has been in um, uh, Capricorn since like 2018. And that's where my Saturn is. So I had my solar return and holy crap, it's been kicking my butt. I can't wait. And I love you, Saturn, to get the hell out of my house, out of Capricorn and enter Aquarius where we're free and progressive and having fun again. Saturn represents prisons. It's rigid. It's domineering. It's the old paradigm. It's buildings. It's actually government. <clears throat> so um, we're all in lockdown, right? So it had briefly emptied Aquarius and then went back into Saturn again, retrograde. And it won't be going to direct till December 17th. So if you're like me, we can't wait for that tight conjunction to break away from Saturn and Pluto. All right, and then let Jupiter come in and bring us some abundant blessings. So just know right now, this card being in uh, the Capricorn sign, an energy of a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, I would say probably when it enters, the sun enters Capricorn, you will feel like this stagnant, heavy energy in your body passing, in your relationship, and things not moving in your love life, things not moving in your home life, at work, at school. Uh, you haven't been able to lose weight, okay? Uh, your body feels like it's way heavier, your legs, your arms, you know, because Capricorn, that's the, the musculoskeletal system, the endoskeleton. It's your bones, your teeth, you know, even the muscles. So you might be feeling heavier during this big transit. There will be transformation coming for you. And I really feel like you have learned so much in this last eight months that going forward, even though you will take it at a steady pace that is a bit slower than other people that are fiery or airy, um, it's just what you need for you to get moving and get your momentum going. And I really feel like after January, you'll start feeling much lighter again, Capricorn. Now, Queen of Cups, okay, so this could be our Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and your polarity is Cancer. That's your balance in astrology. Now, this queen represents someone to me 35 or older. It could be a mom or dad or mother or father figure. They love the outdoors as far as water or fishing, jet skis. Um, water is their element. They usually keep their emotions in check, but they can blow. And when they have that meltdown, they go emotionally. So it charged up either... Um, emotionally saying things or feeling things. They can be very empathic. You know, and you see this, this is enlightening. It's, yes, it looks like lightning, but it's an enlightening bolt right here, you know? So she's intuitive. Some of these Cancerian type of personalities, women especially, can be very chatty and they just blurt out things emotionally. The men also can be very intense energy. So that's just because it's emotions. So that being said, this person, whether it's someone coming into your life or even the way she's looking, leaving your life, maybe somebody at work, you know, you're changing your job situation, you're saying goodbye to this person. Um, a love life that you're ending this relationship and moving on. But you know, you're not saddened by this. You feel very stable in this. Um, you know, like here, this is someone who's very contained. 
they're not emotional at all. This someone has a lot of emotions, but they, they can hold it in until they like have some event. So we know that the queen breathes life into the king's ideas. So this could be a time of you entering. Um, and you know, the sun is in Scorpio right now. So I don't really know that it's going to be like right now. I'm feeling this is more during Pisces for you, the next water sign. You're really going to feel, and I'm saying feel, you're feeling lighter. You're feeling the pleasures of life again. You're feeling love and joy and bliss. Out of the stressors of what was going on, um, it's a happy time for you. You know, God's offering you this cup and you're taking it. And you're going to drink from this cup and fill yourself with joy and pleasures and, and happiness again. Relationships that you had that were unhealthy, I really feel are healing and you're walking away from unhealthy situations. Like I said, work, school, home, whatever it is. Uh, and it's very peaceful and calming. Maybe some of you are going to leave your job and you found through this whole COVID thing, you don't want to do this anymore. And you found something else or a different form of the work that you're doing. Whatever it is, it's something that's giving you more pleasure and joy. And you're feeling very calm but very confident in this. I feel it's very transformational and empowering with the color of her gown, having these yellow, gold, and orange. Definitely you've learned a lot. And going forward, you're creating something new that is very empowering for you, Capricorn, but you're very creative. Something you're creating new in your life, in your relationship with yourself and this person, place, or situation. Okay, thanks, Spirit, for that. Now, let's see. We have um, an oracle card from the Enchanted Map. And the card that fell out for you is number 41, ex Unexpected Visitors. So I'm going to read it, and I'll try and, like, hone in closely on the card and move it as I'm reading it for you. In case you see something that jumps out on you with the colors or an image, anything that might be hidden here. Unexpected Visitors. If you expect the unexpected, you'll be prepared for miracles. And believe me, that's Uranus and Taurus since May of 2018. Expect the unexpected. Detours, surprises, and paradigm shifts. Expect the unexpected. No matter how detailed your plans are and how clear you believe the road ahead to be, there are times when the best plans are waylaid by unforeseen circumstances. At this time, if, Detours may seem inconvenient, but a surprise turn of events signals that the adventure of life is beginning to get interesting. No one can plan for synchronicity, for fate and destiny to meet, except spirit, who knows what you can't comprehend for now. Life is full of surprises, so stay on your toes and enjoy this exciting new adventure you weren't expecting there is a plan for your life that may not match up with your agenda. So that's beautiful. And again, we have the little, what is that? Bunny rabbit. I think things are going to start hopping along for you, Capricorn. So be prepared for unexpected miracles. Four and one is five. We know how dynamic the number five is. That energy, very, very dynamic number. It's the most dynamic uh, number of the single digits. So things will be creative and high energy coming for you. So be prepared for either literally unexpected visitors or unexpected turn of events for you in your life that will bring you much happiness and joy that you could not have even imagined doing yourself. Well, I hope this does help you. Um, happy Thanksgiving for those in the Americas that celebrate. And even if you don't, have a beautiful November. Um, I'll see you guys next month. And as always, I wish you the best.